It's not clickbait. It's true, unfortunately. So yesterday, if you noticed, the, the vlog kind of just ended uh, abruptly at, at that park. And there's a reason for that. Basically, I was shooting a video at, at that park that I've been to a million times. Like you've seen that vlog, you've seen that park in this vlog a million times because it's it's close by our house and it's just, it's it seemed like a safe place to be. And yesterday seemed no different. There were like 50 people there. Just, there was a large number of people uh, with various ages. Like there were like kids all the way to old people. So it just, it seemed like a very safe, easy place to, to talk up, talk to my camera. After spending about 10-ish minutes there talking to you, that's when a random guy comes up and says like, hey, somebody just tried stealing my phone from me. I would be leery. And after hearing that, I was kind of weirded out, but I was, I was done shooting anyway, so I decided to just pack my stuff up and leave. And that's where things got kind of scary. So a lot of times when I'm going around just this general area, I'll bring my electric skateboard because it's just easier than driving. And yesterday was no exception. I had my electric skateboard and I, I get to the asphalt, I'm about to leave, and I figured I just, I needed to check to make sure I didn't leave anything at the park bench just because I was kind of weirded out by the whole situation and I got out of there pretty quick. I set the board down on the asphalt and then I put my backpack on top of the board and I am about to unzip the backpack just to make sure I have everything. And that's when I see this 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 male without a shirt on walking towards me. And at this time I thought the guy that was trying to steal stuff was on the other side of the park. So I just, I wave at the guy. Long story short, he didn't wave back and he, he was giving me a look like he was, he was looking for trouble. It's hard to describe, it's just it made the hair on my neck kind of stand up. So I quickly put my backpack back on jumped on the skateboard and gunned it. At this point, the, the guy is about 10 feet away from me. As soon as I gun the skateboard, and he realized, I don't think he realized it was an electric skateboard, but as soon as I gun the skateboard, he starts chasing after me. Now, long story short, I ended up getting away. Uh, the electric skateboard's a lot faster than a guy on, uh, on foot, but that was a, I, I would be lying to say that it wasn't scary. And, uh, and I, I honestly don't know what would have happened if he would have, have caught me or um, I, I don't know if he would have beat me up, stolen my, my equipment. But he, he was like, he was much bigger than me. Like I'm 5'8 I'm and he was over six feet tall. Thankfully, nothing happened and thankfully I, I got away. I don't know if that guy that had told me about his stuff being almost being stolen was with him because he happened to the the guy that chased ultimately chased after me came around, came from the same general vicinity that the uh, the the other guy like went towards. I, I wasn't really keeping tabs on him because I was just trying to get out of there. Um, and I, I I am grateful that it didn't end in a, a really bad way because it really could have. Like not even talking about losing gear or anything else that doesn't really matter at the end of the day because we have insurance and, and even if we didn't your life is more important than something like a camera. The thing that I'm having to do with now is that was like less than two miles from our house. Like I said, like I've been to that park a million times in this vlog. I, I run to that park on a regular basis. And now it just, it kind of, it makes the neighborhood feel a little less safe. And I realize things like this happen all the time. It's just, it hits a little closer to home when it's in your own backyard. Making this part of, of today's video is honestly, it's it's one to update you and kind of explain to you why the, the vlog was cut short yesterday it was because of that. But the other part of me, me telling you this and probably the more important part is it helps me in a weird way process it when I, I talk to you about it and I, it's just maybe it's like something about having to formulate and explain what happened and then like editing it, like listening back. I don't, I don't know. It just, it helps me kind of process it. All that to be said, if you're ever in a situation where you feel like your life's a danger or you feel like something bad is about to happen, don't be afraid to call the police. Don't be afraid to get loud. That was another thing. As I was riding off, I was screaming at the guy and it wasn't more to, it wasn't to antagonize him or anything. It was to let other people know in the vicinity that something was going on and to get eyes on me. That way it may deter him and would also give witnesses if God forbid something did happen. Basically what I'm saying is I'm glad that I'm okay and I'm glad that the situation didn't end in another way and just be careful because you, you never know. All right, let's uh, let's let's pick this vlog up in a more. <laughs> let's let's lift the the heaviness of, of this vlog. Right now. We're 
in Brentwood right now. We had to pick up some footage that uh, last weekend we actually shot two different weddings at the same time and we we're getting the footage from the second wedding. Right now I'm just, I'm walking around because there doesn't need to be two of us staring at the person just to, there only needs to be one person really to get the footage. Check out this, uh, this little sign that I'm standing on right now. Isn't that awesome? Maybe it's not that awesome. Also, I, uh, Savannah just texted me and I, uh, I walked away with the backpack and she needs the backpack because she's gonna get some editing done and I have the stuff for, for that. So I'm gonna go give it to her right now. Basically, from what I can gather from like walking around for about 10 minutes, this is a office park and this is like just the, the where people go to eat lunch outside of, of the, the building. It's really nice and the, the weather is not terrible. It's There's a nice breeze, it's like in the 70s. about 20 minutes here and uh, I'm gonna keep walking. What do you think happened there? It's floor to ceiling. Wow. Savannah just texted me, she said she'll be done in five minutes, meaning I should probably walk back over there because I'm a, uh, I'm kind of far. We're shopping at the mall right now. My birthday's tomorrow and I don't really know what I want and I'm hoping this jogs the memory maybe. Well, I didn't find anything at the mall. It's nothing that I really want, and I, I'm i the kind of person, if I want something, I'm just gonna save my money and buy it myself. I'm really weird about having other people buy things for me. Not that I don't appreciate it, I just, I think it's more, more of me just being impatient, and when I'm ready to buy something, I'm just gonna buy it, and I just don't know what I want. <laughs> I've also never been this way before, uh, so I thought I'd, thought I'd try it out. This house is cool. Figured out where that leads to that dead end. 